connected motion now you can see the pulley so this pulley is like that okay now you can connect in motion now consider the two bodies of masses m1 and m2 tied at the end of an inextensible string now this is inextensible means this cannot be extended so this is mass m1 and this is mass m2 now which passes over a light as well as it is a frictionless pulley so this is a frictionless so this is actually a frictionless pulley now we what we are considering is that we are considering that m1 is greater than m2 now m1 is greater than m2 the heavier body will move downward and the lighter body will move upward so this is move downward sorry sorry this will move downward and this is going to move upward now let a be the common acceleration of the system of two bodies now you can see a is the common acceleration this is a this is means that means this body is going <coughs> with an acceleration a downward this is going with an acceleration a in the upward direction now since the pulley is light and frictionless therefore the tension in the string shall be the same on both sides of the pulley so this is the tension t and this is the tension t here it is acting upward here also it is acting upward tension t now on the heavier body the various forces are so because m1 is greater than m2 <coughs> so taking this m1 now see the various forces which are acting are first of all is weight m1g so this is the weight m1g which is acting vertically downward the tension t in the string the tension t in the string acting upward it's going upward okay <coughs> as the body moves downward with acceleration a so this is moving downward with the next solution a now see what is the net force on the body so we, we, you can see that it is going downward with the next solution a so m1g is greater than t so net force on this is on this is we can write m1g minus t this is actually equals to going downward so this is equals to m1 equals to m1a okay now on the lighter body so this is the lighter body <coughs> its weight mg the various forces which are acting on it is weight m2g which is acting vertically downward the tension t acting vertically upward and this body is also going upward with an acceleration a <coughs> now we know that t this t is more than the m2g so the total force on this is t minus m2g because this t is more which is equals to m2a now this now see equation one and this is you can take this as equation two now see in these equation if you add equation one and two <coughs> the t will be eliminated so adding these two add these two this will be m1g minus m2g this is equals m1a plus m2a okay you can take uh, sorry we are finding a okay okay to find a we can take a common from here so this will be m1g minus m2g that is equals to you can take a common so this will be m1 plus m2 so what is a <coughs> a will be m1g minus m2g upon m1 plus m2 this is equals to a so this is the acceleration now substituting the value of a in any of the equation like in any of the equation so this in suppose we are substituting this is a s in first equation okay so let's substitute this in the first equation so i'm writing it over here so the first equation is this just write the first equation write the first equation which is actually m1g minus t equals m1a okay now what is a a is this substituting this in this equation a is m1g minus m2g m1 plus m2 or you can take from here you can take g common this will be m1 minus m2g upon m1 plus m2 so this will be m1g minus t 
equals m1 <coughs> this is m1 a now what is a a we can write m1 minus m2 g upon m1 plus m2 okay now we just have to rearrange them we will get t so take t to that side so this will be m1 g minus m1 g m1 minus m2 this is upon m1 plus m2 this will be the capital T <coughs> now take the LCM LCM will be m1 plus m2 this will be m1 g m1 plus m2 minus this is m1 g m1 minus m2 now if you open the bracket and solve you will get t let's solve it okay this will be m1 g sorry m1 square g plus this will be m1 m2 g uh, this will be minus m1 square g and this will be plus m1 m2 g upon this is m1 plus m2 this is t so you can cancel these two okay cancelling these two you get m1 <coughs> you get m1 m2 g plus okay this is m1 m2 g plus m1 m2 g so this becomes twice of m1 m2 g upon m1 plus m2 which is the tension t so first question is okay a body of mass 10 kg is placed just a second a body of mass 10 kg is placed on a smooth now the mass is 10 kg is placed on a smooth horizontal surface it is connected to a string which passes over a frictionless pulley and carries the other end a body m2 of mass f5 kg so you can look at the diagram also <coughs> see this is the diagram <coughs> okay so they are saying a body of mass 10 kg is placed on a smooth horizontal surface so basically this is 10 kg placed on a smooth horizontal surface it is connected to a pulley this pulley this is what the 5 kg mass is it is connected to a string which passes over a frictionless pulley and carries the other end a body mass m, body m2 of mass 5 kg what acceleration will be produced in the bodies when the nail fixed on the table so suppose consider this there was a nail when the nail fixed on the table is basically removed now fixed on the table is removed what will be the tension in the string during the motion of the bodies so basically you have to find the tension in the string when the bodies are moving and when the bodies are rest okay so when the bodies are moving and when the bodies are rest so when this is this nail is removed obvious this is a frictionless table so this object this mass will start moving down because of which the whole system the whole system will move with an acceleration a so also the string is also inextensible though the, so the tension will be the same so tension you can see the tension here acting in the upward direction this is m2g and this tension towards right which is basically pulling this object towards right pulling this object towards right hmm. so solution so when the nail fix on the table is removed the system of two bodies moves with an acceleration as shown so this is an acceleration it is moving this is an acceleration it is moving now according to newton's second law now see <coughs> m2g this is the force is what is m2g and now here is what and the total if we take the total mass of the system is m1 plus m2 so this is the force which is driving the m2g this is the force which is actually driving so this m2g is the force which is driving the whole system so this m2g so means this force should be equal to the force of m1 plus m2 of a so according to newton's second law see we can write it like this now consider now applying newton's second law now according to newton's second law see what will be this is m1 plus m2a equals m2g basically these two forces are equal so what i mean to say is that if you look at this so this m2g is the driving force now when they are moving they are moving with an acceleration a 
and the total mass is m1 plus m2 we can take this because this is a frictionless pulley so m1 plus m2a equals m2g so now from this we can calculate the acceleration so what is the acceleration acceleration is a is what m2g upon m1 plus m2 now substituting the values 5 taking g as 9.8 that obvious upon m1 plus m2 that will be 10 plus 5 okay so this acceleration is basically this is 3.27 meter per second square now this is the acceleration in which it is undergoing look at the free body diagram now if you take this and we consider the free body diagram of this object see this was moving with an acceleration day now r is equals to mg they are like cancelling the effect of each other the r is equals to m and g now this is moving towards right with an acceleration day so what is the driving force the tension t and this tension t is same throughout so this tension t is same throughout when the objects are moving so basically applying again applying the newton second law so this t this is is the force which is t is equals m a sorry m1 a so this is m1 i'm sorry so this t will be equals to m1 a this uh, this t tension is equals to m1 a so this is 10 into 3.27 which we have obtained so this is 32.7 newton now this is 32.7 newton this is tension when they are actually they are actually moving now when the object stops so let's suppose the tension becomes t dash now consider the tension becomes t dash okay when the body is at rest then when it obvious in the body stop in this position what is the acceleration now see in this thing <coughs> body stops then the acceleration will become zero in both cases so acceleration will be zero equal zero then right acceleration this equal to zero therefore the net force on each body is basically zero now considering the free body diagram of this one now see now the bodies are at rest so taking this as t dash and this is m2g so what the net force is zero that means t dash is equals to m2 m2 into g so t dash is equals m2g now what is this m2 m2 is actually 5 into 9.8 which is equals to 49 newton so this is the tension when the bodies are not moving so our next example the mass is m1 m2 of three bodies shown in the figure i'll show you the figure are 5 kg 2 kg and 3 kg respectively now this is the figure okay this is m1 m2 and m3 this is 5 kg this is 2 kg and this 3 kg respectively calculate the values of tension t1 t2 t3 so considering this as t1 over here t2 over here t3 over here now t1 t2 t3 when the whole system is going upward with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square means this whole system is going upward with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square and the whole system is stationary now whole system is stationary now all the three bodies when they are moving together with an upward acceleration consider this as an upward acceleration this upward acceleration as 2 meter per second square a equals this 2 meter per second square the force pulling the system upward is worse this t1 is the force which is pulling the system upward and downward pull is because of these two of sorry or because of the three masses m1 m2 m3 which is m1 plus m2 plus m3 of g so the total force see we can see that the total force on this <coughs> is basically see t1 is the force which is taking then m1 minus m1 plus m2 plus m3g so this is the force which is taking it downward so hence net force is this t1 upward minus m1 plus m2 plus m3 of g which should be equals against equals to the force which is m into a so this is equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 of a so what is the tension now tension will be tension t1 will be see if you take this to that side 
that will be m1 plus m2 plus m3 of g. So, I will write it this is m1 plus m2 plus m3 of a and this will be plus this is m1 plus m2 plus m3 of g ok. So, we can take this common which is m1 plus m2 plus m3 you can take this common so this will be a plus g. Now, substituting the values so m1 plus m2 plus m3 m1 plus m2 plus m3 is 5 plus 2 plus 3 a is what 2 plus 9.8 solve them you will get 118 newton is the force. Now, see now same thing applying <coughs> for this tension T2. Now, this T2 for this C the upward force is T2 downward force is M2 plus M3 G M2 plus M3 G so, writing this again T2 minus M1 sorry M2 plus M3 G equals the force again so this is M2 plus M3 of A. So, let us see the figure again see this is what this is T2 so, this is T2 minus m2 plus m3 of g. So, hence t2 will be taking this to the opposite side this is m2 plus m3 of a plus this is m2 plus m3 of g. So, this t2 is basically you can take m2 plus m3 common g now substituting the values of m2 plus m3 is 2 plus 3 sorry um, really sorry for this this will be actually a plus g ok. So, 2 plus 9.8 so this is equals 59 newton now for t3 now see this this side now 3 t3 is so what t3 is m3 so 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 this t3 minus m3 g equals m3 a so this t3 minus m3 g equals m3 a. So, this t3 equals m3 a plus m3 g which is equals m3 of a plus g ok. Now, substituting the values which is 3 2 plus 9.8 equals this is 35.4 newton this is how you calculate t1 t2 and t3 now there are not other other thing was that when the whole system when the whole system is stationary now when the whole system is stationary means over here what happens the acceleration becomes zero so when the acceleration becomes zero see <coughs> we have calculated t1 so this thing is basically zero so this whole thing becomes zero what is T1? M1 plus M2 plus M3 of G. So, calculating T1. T1 will be M1 plus M2 plus M3 of G which is equals. So, this is what? The total is 5 plus 2 plus 3 which is 10 into 9.8 which is 98 Newton. T2. Again, we know that the acceleration is 0. So, here is T2 which is M1 plus M2 3 M, M, M2 plus M3 A this is 0. So, what is T2? M2 plus M3 G. T2 is <coughs> M2 plus M3 G. So, this is equals to 5 into 9.8 which is equals 49 Newton. T3. T3. Now, T3 is what? M3 a plus g now a is 0 means m3 g so t3 is substituting this t3 this is m3 g which is 3 into 9.8 which is equal to 29.4 newton